Hello everyone, welcome to Marky B Smoke. Thanks for joining me, I really appreciate it. <laughs> well, I've been away for a few weeks. Uh, my wife Susie's not been very well and I've been looking after her at home. She spent a week in hospital, she's been very brave and uh, underwent an emergency operation. Now thankfully she's on the mend, she's back home and now I can spend a couple of hours down here a week uh, while she's recuperating a bit more. And uh, so I brought you down here today to show you what I've been doing. So that was that bank that is on the south side of the allotment, the one I was just standing in front of, and I've cleared it from brambles, glass, concrete, lumps, plastic, and everything. So I'm really pleased with the amount of work I've done there. It's taken a lot of hard work to get everything that I can out of that bank. And uh, it's absolutely loaded with rubbish, what people have piled up over the years. And uh, you can tell it has been here for a long time because it was all mixed in with the roots from those trees coming down the bank. So there's the north side of the allotment. That's the area I prepared earlier this year or last year. This area in the middle, I've still got to prepare. A lot of bramble roots in there, but I'm gonna develop that later on. And there you can see the edge of my um, plot and the neighboring shed, which has uh, not been worked on for a few years. And then up the bank that I've cleared in the last, well, just before Christmas, I started to clear that bank. And here you can see I've revealed some fence posts that were in the ground. I'm not going to try and take those out. And they're in amongst these sycamore and ash trees that I've got here. So you can see here I've aligned two poles running parallel to show you where the top and bottom of the terrace is going to be. I've cut several posts which I'm going to use to form the lower structure of the terrace. I've got my post, I've got the axe, and I'm just going to sharpen one end. So, got it on an angle. The ground's a bit soft, but you can see I'm trying to sharpen the sides. So I'm going to do the other side now. I haven't got a wooden block, but what I could do with is a stub of a tree. So there we go, one, two, three, four, five, six posts, all sharpened up with the axe on a tree stump that I found. <laughs> Just about managed to do it. So these are going to form uh, posts along the bottom row of the first terrace that I'm putting in, the upper terrace. So let's show you where they're going to go. Right, first of all, I'm going to make a hole with this hole digger, whatever you call it, iron bar, somewhere along here I think. This first one's going to go in here, concrete everywhere, but let's give this a try. So that's my first post in here and that's roughly level with the 
where the ground's going to be, as you can see. And then I'll put another post in just over there so that'll form the bottom edge of the terrace. So let's get some more in. There we go. I'm not sure how well you can see that on film, but uh, I've got the posts in now all the way along the bottom edge of this upper terrace. There you can see the row of posts that I've put in that's going to form the bottom edge of this upper terrace. And these two small top posts, they're temporary. I've put those in just to indicate it's about a metre wide, this terrace, and it's going to fit in between these trees. I can find spaces between the roots and that's going to form all the way along to the other side. Anyway, welcome back to a lovely snowy morning on plot one. A quick update to how I'm getting on. You can see I've used some long, what you call, uh, small tree trunks. Quite substantial. I'm not sure if that's going to hold up, but there's only one way to find out. And I've got that going up there like that. And now I'm going to start backfilling some soil behind. There you can see behind. Got nothing there at the moment and the intention is to scrape down some of that soil behind on the right to make the terrace. Welcome back. We've had a light dusting of snow overnight here in London, England. It's not very often we get snow, but February 2021, we had a bit of snow. Right, as you can see behind me, I'm making progress on my upper terrace. I'm going to continue to rake some soil down behind from the upper bank and then maybe put in a bit of spare from around the bottom here to top it up. Still got a lot of tidying up to do, a lot of sorting out, but uh, one step at a time, eh? I forgot to say, I put in a couple of bird boxes a few weeks ago before Christmas. One there and one there, about two meters off the ground. Hopefully in spring, we'll get somebody nesting in there. That's about the third large pile of glass bottles that I've dug out of the bank up there. Well, as you can see, finally got my top terrace done. Uh, it's turned out really well. I'm really pleased. I uh, didn't have enough soil to scrape down from the top of the bank, so I had to start digging from below and chucking the soil on top over there. So it's been quite hard work, but as you can see, that's pretty much level to the top of this uh, retaining log wall. That's this terrace done. So I'm really pleased with that. Now, I've got something really exciting to show you. So I'll come around behind the camera and show you something interesting. So guys, what do you think to that? <laughs> hey? If I hadn't start digging up the soil from below the uh, retaining wall and throwing it over the top behind the fence uh, to fill the terrace up, I wouldn't have discovered this wall. Don't know if you can see it, but let me try and zoom in a bit. Look at that, guys. That is a wall. Let's follow it up. Where do you think it goes? Straight up to this side of the railway bridge. And that must be the original retaining wall for that bridge. So that would have retained all the soil on the left hand side and then all that would have been cleared for the trains to go through. This view gives you a slightly better uh, look up to the bridge wall. And you can see that this retaining wall leads right up to this side of the bridge. There we go. Slightly better view. They're quite sizable uh, end bricks, whatever you call them. 
with a bull nose ending there on the right. So I'm going to, uh, sorry about the traffic guys. So I'm going to have to do a bit of excavation work to discover what's, how far they go down. Maybe I'll find some more brickwork, who knows. Here's a view sitting on top of the terrace. There you can see the railway bridge to the left and the terrace comes right between these trees here. So what I've realised is, and my wife suggested this to me a while back, those four concrete fence posts, if you look to see where they are in relation to this retaining wall that leads up to the railway bridge, you've got one fence post there, which is just behind here, and you've got another fence post up there, as you can see sticking out behind the tree, that forms a line down to the bottom of this retaining wall. And then you've got another fence post just there and a concrete post just there near the top of the, uh, the current fence. I reckon, and my wife thought this, this was the line of the fence. There was a fence leading up there and a fence leading up here, down to here. There, look. And I reckon there must have been originally a gate at the top of that bank to let people into the railway sidings. I hope you enjoyed that uh, little project. <laughs> Building a terrace uh, up on this bank was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. It was physically hard work, but it's really good making use of the resources that I found on the site. And uh, I've now got a lovely planting area. This is a plan that uh, I had about whether to plant some hedging along the top here to block out noise and maybe some pollutants as well from the road above. I'm still thinking on that one actually because I'm not sure it's such a lovely terrace I'm not sure what I'm going to do but anyway I've really enjoyed this project it's lovely finding that retaining wall down there leading up to the railway bridge. Uh, next job is to decide whether I'm going to plant that hedging on there and then to start digging out all the bramble roots from this section here. So I hope you enjoyed that guys See you again soon on Marky Big Smoke. Thanks for joining me. Really appreciate it. Take care, guys.